What's up guys? Today, it's on a old catch can. It's the best cheap one I've found. And, uh, gonna install it. Basically, three eighths hose. Taking this bitch off, hugging it to the inside. And then the outside will go back into it. This has like a, it's like a ground hooked up to it. So I'm gonna have to relocate that. This just goes back at the top, but that's it. And uh, I'm gonna put the uh, bracket right here on this hole and connect it to here. Pretty much just gonna swing it straight out. Some random, you know, whatever bracket. And uh, yeah, there's some junk wells, you know. Just uh, put the bracket on. This is just a random bracket I had laying around, stainless. But I put a little tab there to keep it, you know, standing up once I bolt it in. So, you know, custom, right? This is a little valve that was connected there. I took the rubber coating off. I'm hooking it up to this hose. It's a, uh, I guess it's a, a one-way flow, airflow valve or some sort. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna put this in here and hook it up to that and then hook the other end, and, you know, whatever I need to. A lot longer than I care to admit. All right, so I painted that stupid bracket I made. Yeah, fancy, not really. But anyways, this is how I got it going, all right? So, got this one. Now, all Corvettes are not this way um, in general because uh, a lot of them have a hole down there and then it just kind of loops up. Okay, mine um, is a 2002 C5, so mine's coming from this tube right here. And uh, let's see, so I'm coming from this tube and this is a plastic tube here. And that one runs to the PCV valve itself. And these are some just like air fittings from uh, Harbor Freight. So, and that's also just a hose that actually fits on here. So, and then the PVC valve or P, whatever, the valve, it's right here. And, uh, can't really see much of it, but yeah, clean that out. And then let's go into the end right here. Now this is the way that uh, Lead Engineering has their stuff, the uh, valve before the catch can. In, then out again, and back in. And uh, there was a uh, ground hooked to this. I'm really not sure what it is and uh, what it was for, but I did I mean, I think it's just uh, the ground from the um, the block to the uh, intake. So I just screwed it in like normal and uh, hooked up a ground. Now that's not the finished grounding. That's just my temporary grounding till I get back to the store. Anyways, yeah, this is how I got it. I just didn't want to kink the hoses. So it's kind of like, this is temporary. So until I figure out a better way to do it but yeah hopefully this works this one has like the um the brass filter in there and then it's got like the hold base to it which a lot of the um more expensive ones do this was like 30 bucks everything else i got from sitting down you can usually find these 3 8 hoses um i usually find them at o'reilly's the cheapest for small sections and uh yeah some uh, Harbor Freight stuff, and that's about it. I think all together it was, um, I want to say 35 bucks. So, but yeah, should work. Just get fuel grade hoses, three eighths, and it'll be good. And if anybody wants a link to the one, this one, whatever, just write me or comment, and I'll just copy a link. But, anyways, that's it.